Hey guys, this is a Jordan to review, and today we're going to peek at RSS readers for Android. Three categories, they're all free. First category, standalone apps. Second category, apps that connect with Google Reader. And a third funky category, and I'll, I'll just give you a peek into that at the end of the, the video here. So before we go into the apps, um, let's quickly review what an RSS reader is. If you go to a blog, you'll often find on uh, almost every blog, you'll find an RSS logo, usually on the top, and in Jordan's case, it's on the bottom. And you can click to subscribe to the articles and sometimes even the comments. When you click on that, um, your browser will tell you where do you want to subscribe uh, to. So in this case, I've got Google as my default. Um, there are many options, Yahoo and blog lines and so forth. I recommend Google because you can use an Android app to synchronize your desktop with your mobile reading. So I'm not going to subscribe because I'm already subscribed to um, Droitude. <clears throat> and quickly peek at Google Reader. So here's Google Reader. So think of it as an inbox for your blog. So I'm subscribing to all these different blogs here and it shows me in real time what's new. So you can click on one. If you like it, you can click and it'll pop open a new window and you can actually go to the, the website. Well, in this case, um, it's an Android and me website. So I can read that or close it. And it remembers which ones you've read and which ones you haven't. So that's the really nice thing. So you can see, just like a regular inbox, this is red, this is red, these aren't. So you can see what you haven't read across all the blogs you subscribe to. The nice thing is that if you go to the Android market, let me just turn this screen off. There are lots of options that connect with Google Reader and I tried a couple. I tried actually a few, but these are the two that I like. The first will be NewsRob. So you click on NewsRob, you can see all articles, I've got 50. And this is synchronized with my, my Google Reader account. So when I read something on Google Reader, it marks it as read on my device and vice versa. If I read something on my device, it marks it as read on Google Reader. So it's a great way to read your blogs um, wherever you're at, whether it's your desktop or, or mobile device. So you can see the interface here. Click and you get the articles and just like you do on the web interface. So, and to synchronize it, if you look at settings, it can tell you um, what synchronization types you want, the intervals, in this case, every hour. If I have it every 30 minutes, then it might start sucking a lot of batteries. I usually keep this for every 12 hours and so forth. So this is your um, traditional view. So NewsRob sort of looks like Google Reader. You got your inbox and you can sort through and look at just the ones from Android and me and so forth. The other one that connects with Google Reader is FeedSquare. And what FeedSquare does is a little different. It, it organizes things in this really fancy uh, view here. So if you click on Android Guys, then it brings up the, the uh, three at a time. So three blog articles at a time, and you just kind of swipe to go through the list here. And it remembers which ones you've read, just like the uh, NewsRob does. So. They both work well, and it's just a, a matter of uh, which one you like in terms of layout. I personally prefer NewsRob, just because it's more like the Google Reader account, but for some people that are more visual, the feed square might work. Okay, so those are the apps that sync with Google Reader. These are the standalone apps. I used to use Sparse, and then I switched to Pure, and then now I'm actually using NewsRob and, and synchronizing with, with Google Reader. Sparse is a standalone app, so you click, you're going to have to add feeds manually. So when you go to a website and you saw that Jordytude link where it said articles for RSS, you copy the link, paste it in here, give it a title, and it'll add the feed to your feeds here. So these are all red. You can see everything is marked as gray. If I click on refresh, <coughs> give it a second here, it's going to start refreshing and then show me uh, what articles are new on these websites that I have not read yet. So they're starting to pop up now. So Boy Genius, so if I click on that, for example, you'll see that these are all new articles and I've read or marked as read all of these here. Again, this is standalone, so I'm not going to have any synchronization with my desktop, but it's a great way if you're just using your mobile device to track blogs, it's a good way to do that. Clicking on this will take you to the web page. So that's sparse. Um, pure is almost the same as sparse, except it shows you how many unread here in that number box. So that makes it a little bit more useful. You can see there, a little different interface, but essentially the same feature set. Yeah. Also brings pictures over. All right, those are those apps. This third category, My Six Sense, is a little different. I may do a review on this later, but for now, just a quick preview. Uh, you can import your Google Stream, so there's a Streams link, so you can go ahead and click on Add Content and import your Google Reader account. 
or uh, add streams from Twitter, Facebook, Google Buzz, add topics like Android, or even put in website addresses with interesting content. You can also put in your twi uh, Twitter username and password and Facebook username and password. So as friends tweet or post on Facebook links, those links will add um, be added to your stream here on My Six Sense. And the thing that they're trying to do is watch what you click on. So if you're clicking on things about Android or Hawaii or whatever uh, you're interested in, it's going to remember that and try to prioritize content and move those things up. So uh, you know, we have Twitter and Facebook and RSS. You probably have hundreds of links a day, so it's going to try and boil that down to the ones that that it thinks is most interesting for you. Kind of like Netflix recommendation engine. I'm still playing with it, so I'm not completely happy with it, but. It's an interesting uh, concept, and hopefully it'll it'll be able to sort through quickly um, all the chaos uh, online and find the content that's relevant for you. So here we go. I recommend NewsRob and using that with Google Reader, but these are all great apps. I uh, hope this was helpful.